Ever since I saw the stills of the new Barbie movie and realized they weren't sticking to canon, I've had a lot of a lot of anxiety in my life. So I've decided to come to the shores of Ireland to find some peace and to share some peace on guitar with you guys because there's one thing that people can do to add to chords that has been going on for centuries. Like if you've ever heard this song. Also, let's let that car go by. I think that's one of the most peaceful type of fingerstyle guitar things. And it's really easy to do because you can just take open chords you already know, and then just add the top two strings. So on the B string and the E string, we're just gonna do the notes. Open one, three, open one, three. B, C, D, E, F, G. I'm rocking this emerald guitar. Look at this, this is the X10 emerald. Oh my gosh, it's the most gorgeous guitar of all time. Click the link in the description, check one out for yourself. But basically, B, C, D, E, F, G. Open one, three, open one, three. And we're gonna start with the C major chord. But what we're gonna do is, I'm playing it finger style where my thumb, pointer, and middle finger are going A, D, G, right? This is gonna be the first three notes of pretty much everything we're gonna do. And then we're gonna go ring finger on the B string the first time around, and then my ring finger is gonna pop up to the high E string the next time around, so. like an arpeggio way to do it you can use your pinky if you want but who does that we don't guitar players never use their pinky for, for anything unless you're like really good <laughs> that's how you know someone's really really good if they can use their pinky and finger picking but we're not we're not here to talk about this we're here i'm not here to give you anxiety over your lack of pinky prowess as as i have we're here to offer some peace right so aside from just doing that on a regular chord we can add every time I get to that B string, I'm gonna do something different, whether it's the first, third, or open fret. C, D, C, B. I do the same thing with the high E string. And that's all over one chord, okay? So now if we switch to the chord, let's go A minor, any of the chords in the key of C, in which B, C, D, E, F, G are notes, all these chords are gonna sound great. So now if we do the same thing, all I'm doing is going back and forth between B, C, C, D, C, and B, right? So, and every time I get to my ring finger, I switch the note. I go higher. And then add that melody on top, right? And again, you've heard these in a lot of popular songs all throughout history. And then, so let's do it over everything else. Uh, F major. I think it always sounds good in a group of four where you kind of come back to one, right? So right with this F, I've got third fret on the D string, second fret on the G string, first fret on the B string, and then I'm just gonna go third fret on the high E string, first fret, open fret, back to one, right? So. And that's, what, that's how you get away with doing like a four bar routine with three different notes. You just kind of go up and back, right? So let's do something where we just kind of combine all the, the an entire chord scale in the key of C, where it's the one chord C major, the two chord D minor, three chord E minor, four chord, F major, five chord, G major. And again, with the G, use your ring finger first because that opens up your pinky on your left hand. I said we weren't gonna talk about pinkies, but here I am, I've been using my pinky and my fretting hand this whole time. And then A. We're gonna leave that seven chord, that B didn't have to finish out just because we're trying to keep this, we're trying to keep this chill, guys, right? I mean, come on, look at this. Keeping it chill. I'm at the uh, Glen Carr Waterfall Park, by the way, in case any of you ever get to Ireland. It's like in the Northwest, it's amazing, All right? So, for, F, for C, D 
minor, E, F, G, A minor, back to C. Okay, so mix and match those in whichever way you want because again, they're all like really easy to do and it's just adding those notes on top of a chord that you already know, right? You can even do it as a strumming pattern like. All I'm doing is adding those notes. Again, think of these notes not as just extra notes in the key. Think of these as extensions that you could add to any chord that you're already playing, right? And then maybe as you get better with this, maybe you can take other notes through uh, the key and then just start adding them around. Again, think of any shape that you actually already know. Like we know the A minor pentatonic, right? If you go five, eight, five, seven, five, seven, five, seven, five, eight, five, eight. We know that five and eight are on the top. So maybe if you're playing something like an A minor seven. And then you get to like a C chord here. It's all about just adding the melody note on top to your existing chords. And again, I think you'll have much more peaceful and interesting chord progressions. So thank you to the country of Ireland for letting me come here and Emerald Guitars for hooking up this X10. Amazing guitar, like I said. Cause I mean, also you can leave it out in the gentle rain. Just don't tell anybody that I let them, <laughs> I let this happen. <laughs> so yeah, like I said, you can check out this X10 in the link in the description. If you have any questions or comments, send them in the comment section, Instagram, Twitter, or the website. And I'll talk to you all soon. Thanks a lot.